What is a smart contract? The term of smart contracts was coined in 1994 by Nick Sabo, who defined it as a set of promises, specified in digital form, including protocols within which the parties perform on these promises. Smart contracts work with blockchain technology, making them traceable and permanent. A smart contract is an agreement between two parties encoded on a blockchain, which is automatically executed and verified via a computer network. They follow a set of predetermined actions the parties have agreed to, and it is activated when certain conditions are fulfilled. They are automated, self-executing, ensure an agreed-upon outcome, eliminate the need for trusted intermediaries such as banks, escrow agents, lawyers, or a central authority, facilitate global anonymous transactions, and aim to reduce fraud and mechanical errors. A smart contract could be designed to perform tasks such as releasing funds to certain parties or issuing a receipt. Once the condition is complete, the blockchain is updated, making the transactions unchangeable. The terms, as well as the parameters for deployment of the contract onto a blockchain are established, agreed to by the parties. It is also vital that parties establish rules, create room for exceptions and unforeseen circumstances, and define a dispute resolution framework. Once everything is set, the smart contract can be programmed by a developer. Transfer of cryptocurrency and digital tokens can be done using smart contracts. Ethereum, one of the most popular cryptocurrencies, was the first platform to adopt smart contracts in practice, through its blockchains ERC-20 and ERC-721. However, smart contracts are not tokens, and they are not cryptocurrencies. Rather, they govern how tokens and cryptocurrencies are transferred from person to person. A smart contract is not necessarily legally binding. It is a set of rules made into software to guide the performance of a task derived from a prior, lawfully binding agreement between parties. Nonetheless, some states in the U.S., such as Arizona, Nevada, Tennessee, and Wyoming, have legislated the use of smart contracts. Smart contracts have been applied in different fields, especially business, and create an environment of trust for those involved. In retailer-supplier relationships, for example, they can ensure that payment is made immediately after a cargo of goods arrives at its destination. In medicine, smart contracts can safeguard doctor-patient confidentiality by encoding patient health records and ensuring only verified people have access to them. Patients can book and pay for appointments and medications safely and automatically send their receipts to insurance companies as proof of service. Scientists can carry out research confidentially, and monitoring bodies can carry out activities like managing supplies, supervising drugs, and regulation compliance through their application. Smart contracts can legitimize the voting process making it less vulnerable to manipulation by recording the process on a blockchain. It can also make the process faster by eliminating the need for long queues and manually filling forms, thereby increasing voter turnout. Smart contracts are useful for many reasons. They are fast and efficient. Immediately after the agreed conditions are met, the contract is executed. The process is digital and automated, which cuts back on errors that often result from manually filling in documents, resulting in a faster, more accurate transaction. They create trust between otherwise untrusted parties. There is no third party who could be influenced by any of the parties for personal gains. The encrypted records of all transactions are shared with all participants via a computer network ensuring transparency and preserving the agreement. The encrypted nature of smart contracts makes them less susceptible to security threats. Their use of blockchain technology, a kind of distributed ledger system, makes it difficult for transactions to be altered or manipulated. Parties to the agreement save on fees they would have spent procuring the services of a third party, 
such as an escrow agent in a real estate transaction, to serve as an intermediary. Smart contracts are still emerging, so there are several limitations to using them, such as how difficult it is to change due to their nature. Once it has been programmed, making changes is expensive and time-consuming. If there are bugs in the smart contract, it is unclear who will be responsible for the errors. They also still depend on third parties. While a lawyer might not be needed to draft the contract, the developer might still need a lawyer to understand the terms to encode them. We hope you liked this video and learned something new. Please subscribe to our channel and like and share this video. We'd love to hear from you in the comments section, and if you have a topic you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments section below.